What's going on, man? Sure I know him. What do you want with him? You talking about that chip? Man, I don't think he's giving it up. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They'd all have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site, but a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. Well, they gotta go, or this'll be a ghost town before long. Doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. It'd mean a lot to me. Yeah, see ya. side of this building and take the metal staircase all the way up and hurry stop wasting time
smooth skin. I'm letting you in. You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. God, but are you ugly. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. The Great One can be found upstairs. Don't think about wasting his time. He's very important. He should feel lucky to be granted some of his time. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? I am Jason Bright, the prophet of the great journey. All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. An auspicious name, don't you think? It was mine before I became as I am now. Before the Great War, even. Truly does the Creator author a destiny for each and every one of us. We wish to escape the barbarity of the Wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. The means by which the great journey is to be accomplished are an article of faith, not to be discussed with outsiders. I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing. And I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared, and the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. The demons appeared from nowhere, except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering, like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours, and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume.
Is that Adler? We have a visitor. An assassin, more like. I say kill it, Adler, for safe sake. Hmm? Okay, Adler, I'll ask. Ah, uh, hi, human. Why you come here? I am in command of my faculties, in command of my troops. Antler guides me in all things, as I in turn guide my kin. Who is Antler? Who is Antler? Antler, the human asks about you. What do I tell it? All right. All right. Yes, yes, of course. Who Antler is not important to you. Antler wants that you deal with me. Me? I am devoted to Antler. But before Antler? Hmm. Captain once. Last name Davison. First name... Don't remember. I commanded a troop of Nikon, the Master's elite. A great honor. Very proud. Something happened. We wandered the desert. Life without Master was... hard. The other's minds going strange. Going crazy. But then... I found us new master. I found us Antler. Since then, everything's been going really well. Good. Antler brought us here for a reason. Why was that, Antler? Right. A, a piece of paper. Shipment invoice. Hundreds of stealth boys sent here a, a long time ago. But stealth boys must be in the one room. One we don't search yet. The one we can't search. A ghoul, but not squishy like others. This ghoul is tough. I thought Antler said, send my kin into that room, but three died. Ghoul is a crack shot, and set traps too. After I realized, I heard Antler wrong, so I lock the door to keep kin out and wait for Antler to tell me what to do. Then, you come along. Antler says you are solution. Yes, Antler says we leave here as soon as we get stealth boys. Let me give you key. Antler had me lock the door. The ghoul inside, not expecting a human. Maybe he don't shoot you. Maybe he will. Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey. You're not one of those things out there. Who the hell are you? And I bet he told you it's the Creator's will for you to risk your ass, instead of him, right? Well, good luck with that. I'd give you a hand, but no thanks. I may look like a corpse, but I'm partial to living. First off, I'm not trapped. This was a tactical choice, all right? I'm no match for those things out there. So I found a good defensive position, and I've been defending it, right? Oh, who am I fooling? I'm trapped. Name's Harland. Pleased to meet you. What happened was, I was escorting folks down to work when those things attacked us. Most of the fight was upstairs, but some folks panicked and made for the basement. And I went after him. Well, turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs. And things went to shit fast. I couldn't find the others. So I fell back to this room and set up a nice little kill zone. End of story. I'm not delicate. Rad roach meat for protein. Condensation off the pipes for water. And I do my business over in the far corner. I wouldn't say it's been comfy. Guess the outfit gives that away, huh? I never did buy into that religious mumbo-jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you, that Bright's group has got some fine-looking goulettes in it. Huh. Or maybe I would have to tell you. Anyway, I helped them out, and they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. Huh. 
Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowhere. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement, she's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself, except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend, and I'll get out of your way. Thanks. Let me know what you find out. Here's hoping she's okay. Did you find my friend? I see. Well, spare me the details. Damn it. I'm gonna miss that crooked yellow smile. All right. You did your part, so I'll do mine. Look around up here if you want. I'm gonna make a break for topside.
Antler sings for stealth boys. Have you found them? Liar! The envoy said stealth boys here. Antler read it out loud to me. But invoice note said stealth boys were here. Why can't that note be true? What, Antler? But human could be lying. He's stealing the stealth boys for itself. Oh, Antler, you trust so easy. Your lucky day, human. Antler, believe you. Nikon will follow the new note to find stealth boys. Better be there. Kinda busy running for my life here, smooth skin. Later. You did good, smooth skin. Never thought I'd get out of that room. Is the way clear? Praise the Creator, and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement, to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity, and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the Great Journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you, and Chris, 
to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. Your redeemers both. Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that, were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. I take no pleasure in hiding the truth from Chris, but it is the Creator's will to which I must submit. Yes, the rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you, always. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. I'm the Flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the Great Journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. When I joined the flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them myself. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. I thought we were past all that, Smooth Skin. But you just can't resist the chance to mess with me. Typical human. I was human once, you know. Grew up in Vault 34, northeast of here. Nice upbringing if you like assault rifles and target practice. But oh, you prefer machines that don't shoot people? Not so nice, then. Who should maintain the Vault's reactor? Hauser? Mitchell, no. Make it Haversome. He likes machines. Haversome won't mind getting irradiated. Haversome won't mind mutating. He's already ugly as it is. Haversome won't mind when his hair starts falling out after a few years. There's no connection, Haversome. You're neurotic. Bald. You call this bald, smooth skin? I'm a monster. A monster! Oh, God. You're telling me the truth, aren't you? Oh, no. How could they do this to me? For two years? My God, I've been a joke to them. Do you have any idea how easy it'd be for me to sabotage those rockets? That'd be a joke, huh? One hell of a joke! What, you think I'm too stupid to pull it off? I know enough to get their rockets working, don't I? So I can make them fail, too. Like I could forgive myself for getting duped like this? They used me, and now they'll throw me away! And dying would be worse than this? Used up and thrown away like garbage? Oh, so I've redeemed the human race, is that it? What a crock. The human race can't stand me. So, you want me to accompany you on your adventures across the wasteland, is that it? Life among humans again? That's what you're suggesting? I guess... I guess it's the only chance I've got. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this, but I'll give it a try. I'll get Jason and his flock on their way, and then I'll head for Novak. Are you ready to get started? 
Those rockets aren't going to launch themselves. I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent, and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom-built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. All right, anything else? All right, what would you rather be doing? Very well, we don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. I'd start by visiting local junk merchants or traders and see if that turns anything up. Later. Howdy. Hi there. I'm Old Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. Certainly did. Hubby and me had an old rad meter to help us tell the difference between what you could salvage and what'd kill you. I kept a glowing container from Repcon around here for years, serving no better purpose than a nightlight. Damn thing wouldn't sell. Then along comes the most peculiar looking fellow, all decked out in a yellow radiation suit, of which he was proud all out of proportion. The man outright asked if I had anything radioactive for sale. Imagine that. But he paid handsome for that jar of goop. Only saw him that once. He said something about heading over to Clark Field to put his suit through its paces. A strange one, he was. Sometimes it seems like I spent the better portion of my youth in that old wreck of a building. Me and my hubby, may the man rest in peace, used to scavenge there. <laughs> if it weren't bolted down, you can bet we took it and sold it. A lot of the scrap you see around here is from Repcon, even my favorite chair. The way I heard it, the Brotherhood of Steel ran the place before the NCR took it away from them. I'm not sure who started shooting first. But when it was over, the Brotherhood, with all their fancy armor and weapons, was on the run. Nobody's heard from them since. Well, I'll give you a hint. They used to just call me Gibson. I hope you can figure out the rest. I don't mind, to be honest. Living long is a real accomplishment these days. 
remains to be seen if I end up dying peaceful in my bed. As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules, but they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. Ha! <laughs> yes, you are quite the smooth talker. What the hell? 250 it is. Pleasure doing business with you. Subject E, diagnosis complete. Begin recording. My name is Whitley. I'm a researcher at Adams Air Force Base. Until recently, I was in charge of the Duraframe Reinforcement Project for the combat model iBots. iBot Duraframe Subject E is both the prototype and the last functional model in this test group. I was prepared to make several significant upgrades to the machines. However, as the project was canceled and all Duraframe assets are being diverted to Hellfire Armor, I am sending this model to the Navarro Outpost. If you're listening to this log from one of our Enclave outposts in Chicago, give this unit whatever repairs it needs so it can continue to Navarro. Howdy. Have you found the components we discussed? Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. Now all I need is the thrust control modules. Indeed you did. And they seem to be in excellent condition. Yes. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. Gather all. May the Creator guide my words and help me speak true. The Almighty Creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two...
Welcome to Novak. It's not very exciting here, but the people are friendly enough. My engineering skills have been coming in handy, too. I've got plenty to do. Thanks for telling me about this place.